funk with a real gospel feel behind it. Most of the people that have been successful in the Jersey Sound have come from the church and have a way of singing from their heart. They're not just singing from their head and reciting lyrics. They're singing something that they believe in 100%. And the lyrics tend to be very full and have a lot of meaning. So not only are they singing from their heart, but the lyrics are actually saying something. The New Jersey sound is sweaty, it's, it's smooth. The energy is uh, it's, it's very high powered, but yet it's a mellow type of energy. Jersey sound is hardcore bass, hardcore bottom. That's what it's all about. The Jersey sound is a combination of a lot of sounds. I just think that we're more vocal orientated. I think we're a little bit more soulful. It's just up-tempo R&B. Um, we're getting back to roots here. at Zanzibar, it's, it's, I really can't explain what it's like, but it's really, really good. It's very funky, very natural, very get down, get dirty, let's have a good time. That's what it's about, and that's what we were looking for, and that's why when we found Zanzibar, we stopped. What I love about Zanzibar is the music, the people, I mean, um, Tony, Birdie, there's certain people in there that make Zanzibar what Zanzibar is. And I feel welcome every time I do a show there. I mean, they always take care of you. The music is always hot. Club Zanzibar is a classic. It's a club where you won't see no other club like it in the, in the country. That's mainly due to Tony Humphrey because he gives the audience a certain feel. You know, when you go inside Zanzibar, you get trapped in, into like a trance. That's what he creates his own little world, and he invites you to it. And you get lost in it, which is dance music is supposed to do, that's what music is supposed to do in the first place. It's supposed to take you away from what you, you know, what you was doing before you got there and put you into a whole double, double frame of mind, which Tony has accomplished that. Put you into a trance. When you give a tape or new music to Tony Humphrey, he'll he'll always play it. You know, he'll he'll just he'll test it on the crowd, and that's where records are made or broken. And it was because of the exposure that I got to Tony Humphrey that I got the record deal. Right now, I'm trying to be the leader of a certain type of music, and um, I have a lot of freedom, so I'm looking out for the small guy. <laughs> I um, wanted to develop Zanzibar and my show at Unkiss into being an outlet for um, new people, to break new people. No one was doing that with house music or our type of music. A lot of times the artists just come around back to see Tony Humphreys and they get introduced to me as Tony's manager. And they have no access into the record business. They, they don't understand. You can't go into a major record label and say, here's my tape. The record was hot basically because Tony Humphreys uh is really interested in new artists and anything that really has what they call now the New Jersey sound. I believe I'm one of the few people that have kept up the three positions, um, which is doing a radio show for two nights on the weekend, working in the club for two nights on the weekend, and also doing studio remixes during the week, which is a very hectic schedule. DJs are uh, would-be musicians. I mean, um, using their creativity to the fullest. I mean, the board is your tool, the discs are your tool. Maybe in two or three years the CDs will be their tool, but it's just using what somebody else has done to try to create a program, and if, you know, for them to hear music. And um, it's a craft, and it should be respected if it's done right, but it should be done musically. You see these records starting in New Jersey with the New Jersey producers, 
and they're coming out in England first. Because the English A&R people are coming over and saying, wow, look at all this good music being made in New Jersey. And they're coming to Zanzibar and they're hanging out and they're listening to the stuff and they're saying, you know, this is great stuff, we'll sign it. They came over and they missed New York and they hit New Jersey.